Okay, once you have the data loaded into Excel, you're going to want to use this formula right here in section C, step two, to convert the t degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, which is what we're used to thinking of. Okay, so the, t the formula is 9 fifths times the degrees Celsius plus 32 will give you the degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to let you do that. Okay, you need to use relative addressing, so you don't want to hard code the temperature Celsius into your program. You want to use the cell that contains the temperature Celsius. And when you're done, you should have something that looks like this with the temperature Fahrenheit for the very first day, very first temperature collection should be 57.56. Okay, if I were just to grab this and try to drag down, this is going to take forever because we've got hundreds of thousands of rows. Okay, so I don't want to do that. What I want to do instead is select this cell, hit Control C, and then use the scroll bar all the way over on the right hand side to scroll all the way down to the bottom to that 194,000th row. Before I click down here, I don't want to click anything until I hold the shift button down first, hold the shift button down, and then click this last cell, and shift click is going to select all the cells in between, all the cells in between. So then what we want to do is we want to hit control V to paste our formula, and it might take a second, there we go. And now that formula has been pasted down to all of these cells for every measurement taken over the last many years. Okay. And notice it's relative, so it's looking at the value relative to where this degree Celsius that we want.